Good morning, guys. Um, it's about 6.30, and I'm being quiet because I feel so asleep. I don't know if you guys can see this, because this is what happens in the mornings. Nate, my eyelids, like, are swollen. <laughs> Cheek be puppy right here. Anyways, um, I think I'm getting sick, though, so whatever. But, so I just wanted to bring you guys along for a day in the life today, um, just so you can see kind of what we're up to. Uh, we just started homeschool to like this is the end of our second week and we're really loving it so we just kind of wanted to bring you along for a day in the life um i'm not doing like a routine video like a morning routine or a nighttime routine or anything like that but just so you can kind of see how a typical day goes so right now i'm going to hop in the shower so i'll see you guys in a little bit okay guys so i took my shower and now i'm gonna let the big dogs out and um, the little one's gonna get mad. But uh, I'm gonna let the big dogs out. And then I'm just gonna go about my morning routine, which I am, I, like I said, I'm planning on filming my morning routine. Oh, let me go get this um, soon. So keep an eye out for that. But right now I'm just gonna quickly rush through it um, and just get everything started. And then I will check back in with you guys. Okay, so for the most part, I'm done with everything. Um, Baba, did I not like clothes out for you? No. Oh, I'm sorry, that light was bright. Um, so I wanted to give you a tip, and my best tip for keeping your home um, clean, sorry, you're crooked, um, for keeping your home clean most of the time is and like stress-free during the day is to get up and make sure all your surfaces are cleaned off so like I make sure my bathroom counter is cleaned off my kitchen table is pretty clean um, my living room like my couch and all of that are cleaned off so I think that that's like my huge number one tip now you can hear the laundry going in the background I know a lot of people do laundry like every day I don't there's three of us if I did laundry every day I'd be washing like two outfits a day so um, I do laundry usually I run one load on Thursdays and I do two loads on Mondays um, I was off a day this week so I did Tuesday and Friday but I'll be back on Monday so um, that's how I do laundry so now I'm going to go put all of these clean dishes right there up and get my wax melters in the freezer and lay out clothes for my son because apparently I didn't do that last night so guys we're finally to the point of the day where I'm going to make myself look like a human being what do you think about that I really wish I had coffee normally I drink coffee at this point I'm out it might be a Starbucks kind of day we'll see okay guys so I officially look like a human being <laughs> um I have makeup on. I, I haven't fixed my hair, but I don't really usually um, actually fix my hair. I just kind of let it do its thing in the mornings, and then I decide later if I want to do something with it. Um, so I need to put makeup on, or jewelry. I need to put jewelry on, and then I need to clean this mess because it's pretty sad. Um, and then we are going to get breakfast going and have school time. It's 7.37 right now. So, yeah, it's like 7.30ish. Um, so I've got time. We start school at 8. That's what time breakfast usually starts and everything. So I've got time. So I'm going to get ready or finish getting ready and clean up right now. So I'll see you guys later. So I wanted to share a tip with you guys. Um... I know that I showed my homeschool area, or I might have, I think it's up by now. Anyways, so my homeschool area is in my office, and typically we homeschool in the dining room at the table, just because there's more light and it's a little more comfortable, there's somewhere for him to sit. Um, and so having to carry books and worksheets and all of that back and forth, and we have a gate up in the middle because of our dogs. Um... So it's a really big pain in the butt. So what I did was I took this basket and this was just one that I had from mine and Jason's wedding. So of course you can use whatever you have. Um, and then 
when we're done with school for the day, I bring the basket in here, I take everything out, and then I reload it with the stuff that I need for the next day. So like today we're doing math, so I have math in there. This has all our worksheets that we're doing. Um, here's my planner, and there's our English. Um, and I need to put, I forgot that I had to do one more thing for science, so I've got to put a science book in there. But then we're done, like, and everything's in here, and it's ready the day before, and I don't have to stress about it the next morning. So that's, like, probably my newest favorite thing that we do with our homeschooling. It was such a great, like, random thought yesterday morning, and I'm really loving having this. So, anyway, so that's what we're doing for that. I wanted to show you guys my newest favorite smoothie. So... This is from Aldi. This is the mixed fruit. It's strawberries, pineapple, mangoes, and peaches. And what I do is just take a good bit of it out um, at 7 when I go to do my makeup. So at 8, it's nice and thawed out. And um, I take it out and I just put it in my cup and it's thawed enough. And then I take a good little handful of spinach. So you get some spinach, some greens in there. I take some spinach and put it in there. And then one packet of stevia blend goes in not the actual paper don't put that in there and then i use this organic tradition milled chia and flaxseed powder i think i got this at home good i'm pretty certain i don't know for sure but you know just some chia and flax and i just put like half a teaspoon or a teaspoon or so you know i don't know just throw some in there and then a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. So that's been the smoothie that I've been having for about the last week, and it's really good. I would like this better if it didn't have strawberries, because I'm not a huge frozen strawberry fan, but it's so yummy, guys. So we're having breakfast. Right, Bob? Mm -hmm. What do you got today? Apple and banana sauce? Yeah. What else you got? A granola bar a homemade. Granola. Yeah, homemade granola bars. And, and then, some water. And some water, yes, and his vitamins. And then the, this is my smoothie that I'm getting ready to have. And then we're going to read Charlotte's Web and our devotional and our Bible. Woo -woo! Yeah, we're finishing Charlotte's Web today. And what are we going to do tonight after we finish Charlotte's Web? Watch the movie! Yeah, we're going to have family night and watch Charlotte's Web. So we're really excited about that. And yeah, so we're going to go have our breakfast and read our books and get our morning started, right? What's happening in your picture? So this is before who? God came on the boat. Before Jesus came on the boat. And how do they feel? Scared. They're scared. And then what's happening here? They're happy. They're happy and at peace. Why are they happy and at peace? Because Jesus is on the boat. And Jesus is going to do what? Is he going to protect them? Yeah. Yeah, he's going to protect them. So we just read Matthew 14, 22 through 33, and he had to draw before and after Jesus got on the boat. So that's his drawing. I think it's so cute. This is part of our English lesson that we're doing. Um, and now we're going to do his spelling test, which I think he's going to ace because... He knows how to spell really good. Right? Yeah. All of our words are every words. So it should be pretty easy. And we did science already. And then we're going to do math. We're kind of like breezing through today. So yay. Anyways. Okay. So we'll see you guys later. We're doing math. And he is a math superstar, guys. Like he's so good at math. It's ridiculous. Um, I was going to show you on our lesson plan, we're supposed to be on lesson eight right here, which is September 19th. And I just want you to see we're on lesson eight already. And we're only in our second week. We're not supposed to do eight till our seventh week. So we're about five weeks ahead. Um, and next week I'm going to be ordering, go ahead, buddy. I'm going to be ordering, um, the rest of the books that we need, like his workbook for beta, because he's really kicking behind. I think I just need his test book, actually. I think I've already got the workbook, but I don't know. Anyway, so I need to order beta because 
at this rate, we're doing three lessons a week, and that's still kind of like spacing it out. So in all honesty, like, I mean, we'll be done through 11 next week. So that's one more week, two more weeks, three more weeks, four more weeks, five more weeks, six more weeks, seven more weeks, like a little over seven weeks and we'll be done with this. So I've got to get to ordering the other stuff so I can know it'll come in on time. But yeah, so he is a rock star at math. So we're playing a math game. So Hola. we make what, Matthew? We make three. And I am one. So who are you? I am two. Two. <laughs> so this is what we're playing. He pulls a we make card and I pick a I am who are you card. And uh, he tells me the answer. So do another one, Bobby, so they can see how we play it again. Seven. You are seven? No, I said we make. Oh, I mean we make seven? Yeah. Well, I am zero. I so am who are seven. You? you are seven, that's right. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're ready for next week. So that's exciting. Um, and now I'm fixing lunch. Um, I'm planning on doing a video. I need to start looking over there. Um, planning on doing a video on like how I meal plan and all of that. So that's something I'm working on. I'll probably get it filmed later this afternoon, possibly tomorrow. And kind of showing you guys like how I do my freezer inventory and all of that. Because I do, um, once a month cooking, but it's kind of more like, I'm trying to get this peanut butter sandwich out of the back. It's kind of more like, um, once every six weeks, basically. That's what we're looking at right now, I think. So... Um, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys how, how I do all of that, how I get my meal plans and everything prepared and how I know what I need to fix. Um, you know, to some people it might be ridiculous because I'm home, but anyways, we'll talk about that all in that video. So I'm getting lunch fixed. He's going to have a peanut butter sandwich and something. I don't know what he's doing. And I'm having um, soft boiled eggs with toast. So that's just what's going on now. Um, now our time of day is like lunch and then we have some free screen time. So he's able to play on his Kindle, watch TV, things like that for about an hour. Um, so I allow him that time. And then, um, and then after that we usually do like art and then we have reading time where we read for half an hour. So that's just the kind of day that we're getting into. It is so dark and gloomy out. Like we wanted to go play today, but we can't do that because it's dark and gloomy. So yeah, this is just kind of what we're doing today. So we will check in with you guys later. I just want to know if any of you have ever seen a puppy this stinking cute in your life. Look at this. Boy, look at him. Look at his sweet little face. Oh, I just love him so much. He's annoyed with me right now, but he's so cute. He's not feeling good today. He's got a fever, but he's so sweet. Ugh, love him. Okay, guys, so I'm not feeling that hot right now. Um, I actually have a really big headache. And I feel like my face is on fire. I'm going to take this off. I feel like my face is on fire and um, I'm cold and um, I feel really sick to my stomach. So I'm just not feeling that great. So I'm laying down for just a little bit and um, Matthew is going to read for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And then he's going to have some play without screens. So no electronic time. Um, and then my husband should be home soon after that, and we are going to go out, hopefully. Um, I'll be feeling hot enough for that. Guys, we're at our favorite Mexican restaurant, right? Mexican food's our favorite. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're, the boys are playing the I am, who are you game. So, they're having fun, but Matthew's not paying attention. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to eat dinner, and then we're going to go have some fun. I am free, who are you? 
seven. The answer's ten. <laughs> We're playing putt putt, and Matthew hasn't quite mastered it yet, but he's learning. And right now, Mama's winning. Mama won the front nine, didn't she, Dad? Oh, we haven't tiled it up tonight. Yes, I did. I got 22, and Par is 22, and you're at 25, and Matthew's at 35. So I would say that means that Mom won the front nine. You can say it. It's okay. Mom won the front nine. All right, you get the front nine. Okay. I don't know what he's doing down there. Apparently, he finally got it. Get off the green. That kind of blue. <laughs> so we are done at the arcade in Putt Putt. Dad won Putt Putt overall. Yeah, Dad, right? Yeah. Matthew, we played some arcade games. Matthew got some prizes. That's yeah. one of his prizes right there. A little stuffed doggy with a baby doggy. Uh -huh. What kind of doggies are those? Yeah. Whoa. Speed bump. <laughs> um, so now we are going to head home and watch our movie and have a fun movie night. Right, guys? Yeah, yeah. But we're going to stop and get Fruits. some sweets and drinks first. So. Yay. And the okay. baby puppy is so cute. Yes, he's very cute. So that's what we're doing. So we're heading back to our town now. So see you later. Okay guys, so we just finished Charlotte's Web. Matthew is in bed and I've already got a face mask on. That's why my face is so red. And so we're going to sit here and probably watch an episode of America's Next Top Model because my husband loves me so much. Right, honey? Yes. Yeah, he's such a good hubby. Um, but we'll probably do that just tonight. Tomorrow night we'll probably watch Leverage or Grey's Anatomy, something like that. But yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing. We're going to bed, sort of. So I'm going to say good night and thank you so much for spending the day with us. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.